On the 26th of April, 1986, the unthinkable happened. Actors lost control during a low power test, resulting in a deadly explosion that ended up destroying the power plant. Two workers died that day and approximately 30 more perished due to the enormous amount of radiation that was released after the explosion. The disaster-stricken city of Pripyat was entirely evacuated. Soon after, strange creatures that locals believed to be the architect of doom started to appear, and even stranger, ominous illustrations of the residents who perished during the evacuation process started to circulate in the area. Welcome to Crunch. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at some of the creepiest things found after the Chernobyl disaster. Radioactive Amusement Park is there really anything more creepy than an old, rusty, mold-riddled, radiation-filled, abandoned amusement park? The amusement park in Pripyat had a 26-meter Ferris wheel, swing boats, a paratrooper ride, bumper cars, and a shooting game. I mean, this already sounds like a place where parents and their kids would go to have fun and make lasting memories together. But as fate would have it, that wasn't the case. You see, this amusement park was to be fully operational in 1986. However, five days before laughter and giggles of young children would fill the air, radiation did. The park was open for a short time and Pripyat residents took advantage of it. But what made this a truly terrifying experience was that the park opened on April 27th, a day after the nuclear disaster. The radiation levels were off the charts on the 27th, and since the government was doing everything they could to prevent the news about the disaster from spreading, they needed a distraction and the long-hyped amusement park was the key. The poor families who came that fateful day were unaware of the horror joy ride they were getting on. Unfortunately, many of them were exposed to radiation and eventually developed cancer. The park today is deserted and lonely. The bumper cars have been abandoned, with leaves blowing around the barriers. The seats on the paratrooper ride are rusting away, and the Ferris wheel is patched up and faded. The park is featured in the video games Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl and Call of Duty Modern Warfare as well as the film Chernobyl Diaries, and serves as the inspiration for the Atlantic Island Park in The Secret World. The park that was meant to be filled with joy and happiness turned to a desolate jarring place where normalcy and disaster collide. Ghostly Horrors of Chernobyl Nuclear physicist Andrew Karsukov from the University of Buffalo had a terrifying experience inside the Chernobyl power plant, a year after the sarcophagus was constructed. On his arrival to the Chernobyl power plant, he immediately went to the fourth reactor to take readings and possibly do some background checks on things. However, just before he was about to take readings, he heard something. It sounded like someone, possibly a firefighter, was asking for assistance in putting out a fire. Problem is, there was no fire. He was frightened by this and ran back to tell someone what he had heard. They told him that he had been the first person to enter this building since the unfortunate incident. And besides, to get into the fourth reactor sarcophagus, you needed to provide an authorized fingerprint. And if someone had provided a wrong one, the alarms would have gone off. Andrew was not having it. He could have sworn he heard someone but everyone kept insisting that it was nothing and eventually he calmed. Later that evening, Andrew, as well as the others, were having dinner outside the building close to the river next to the plant. A floodlight mysteriously turned on in the room of the installation. No way! Who could have turned it on? A member of the team just assumed it to be a power surge, but before they could all nod in agreement, the lights turned back off like someone was taunting them. And as if that wasn't creepy enough, prior to the disaster in early April 1986, residents in the area began reporting strange occurrences. Power plant workers reported seeing a large black bird-like creature with a 20-foot wingspan and large glowing red eyes, which became known as the Black Bird of Chernobyl. Those who saw this appearance also reported having horrible nightmares and receiving menacing phone calls, which worsened right up until the morning of the accident on April 26, 1986. Many researchers attribute the events at Chernobyl to the Mothman, an eerily similar creature said to have plagued the town of Point Pleasant, West Virginia, just prior to the failure of the Silver Bridge on December 15, 1967, which resulted in the demise of 46 people. 
They also claim that historical evidence suggests that this entity is a forerunner of death, because Mothman-like creatures have been reported elsewhere in the past. And as with Chernobyl and the Silver Bridge, the phenomenon hasn't been reported since. While conducting a paranormal investigation of Chernobyl, specifically the remnants of Reactor 4, the Sci-Fi Channel's Destination Truth team was astounded to see what appeared to be a human figure on an infrared camera system running inside Reactor 4, the same area where Andrew heard frightening sounds. Hospital of Terror Well, on the eerie street of Jorusby Narodov, one building brings back old memories to the old residents of Pripyat. On its roof, it says, Health of the Nation, the Country's Wealth. This old building once housed 410 beds, outpatient facilities, complete with a dental clinic, maternity ward, infectious disease clinic, and a morgue. The medical staff here were prepared for the worst. On that fateful night, this hospital was where the plant workers, policemen, and firefighters who suffered from extreme radiation poisoning ended up getting treatment. The victim's clothes were so radiated that they had to be taken to the hospital's basement where they remain to this day. Victims were eventually transported to Moscow where the only facility capable of treating radiation victims was located. Hospital documents and medical instruments were scattered around in haphazard chaos. The basement of the hospital is the most radiated location in the city, and it had to be abandoned just days after the incident due to skyrocketing radiation levels. Many people believe the hospital is haunted, especially after the Destination Truth team from the Sci-Fi Channel discovered multiple human-like figures moving through frames in video surveillance taken of the hospital during a paranormal investigation of Chernobyl. The Creepy Dolls of Pripyat We've all seen the movies Annabelle and Chucky. Some of us have vowed never to watch them again because they made us feel so terrified. Now, imagine walking through this deserted town populated with lifeless dolls, and you feel the soul-crushing stare as you pass every window. Not to mention the fact that these dolls have been exposed to radiation, making them a million times deadlier. This may sound like a movie scene, but it is true, and the lifeless dolls scattered around Pripyat serve as a stark and sorrowful reminder of the April 26, 1986 tragedy. Unsuspecting families in Pripyat were hurriedly evacuated from their homes, and believing that it would only be temporary, they decided to leave most of their belongings behind, including the dolls that still lurk in the many windows on Pripyat streets. Chernobyl, a nature reserve? After humans abandoned the area, wildlife returned. According to a 2015 study led by Jim from the University of Portsmouth, the population of moose, roe deer, red deer, and wild boar in the exclusion zone are fairly similar to those in nearby uncontaminated nature reserves. Jim and his team of researchers also discovered that wolves are doing especially well, with a population that is seven times the size of other wolf populations in neighboring reserves. Although he did stress that the effects of radiation aren't good for wildlife, it's just that the effects of humans back then were a lot worse. So, with the humans gone, these animals can finally thrive. So, what unsettling mysteries have you heard about Chernobyl? Tell us in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and share the video if you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching Crunch, and we'll see you next time.